Welcome to Nomad Citizen. We are a multilingual family of roof sailors slowly discovering the wonders of sailing around the world. Subscribe and discover it with us from scratch. Yes, bye bye. Previously, you saw the end of season one from France to France. In this episode, we take you to Portugal. So we arrived to the Anchorage. We arrived to Portugal, to Portimao. Thank you. We'd like to take the opportunity to thank all of you who made the first season possible by contributing on Patreon or on memberships. Seems very nice for the moment and we are very, very happy to, um, to be here. I gave you a necklace with a feather to take all your soul. Good morning. We will start this first day in Portimao with a little bit of running. We're doing intervals. We're running uh, 100 uh, meters and taking one minute of rest for me and 30 for Marvin 30 seconds because we hate running and this is more efficient than uh, just running one hour slowly so in 10 minutes I'll be dead I'm walking towards you. This is a microphone test number two. Tara is coming as well. Is it better or is it the same? <laughs> you should see Marvin filming me because <laughs> he's totally lying on the floor. <laughs> Okay, so this is our last night here in the marina. <laughs> and tomo <laughs> tomorrow we will go to the anchor just over there. Uh, we are done with the marina. Now we are going to the anchorage. Tu tiens un côté dans les mains et au fur et à mesure que le bateau part, tu récupères. And we're leaving this place. Thought we we're just going over there, but uh, still a big thing. How do you feel, Captain? Good. Born to be free.
So we arrived to the Anchorage. Um, we will prepare the lunch for today. We're gonna have eggs and carrots. So I'm preparing the carrots. Uh, Tara, uh, since she's two and a half years old, from now on, uh, she has the right to watch uh, limited time cartoons. Uh, the only thing is that they're in English, so she's actually learning. This is her third language after Serbian and French. And that leaves me time to prepare the lunch. So let's go! So, the lunch is ready. As I told you, it will be eggs and uh, grated carrots. But I wanted to share a little thought about omega-3. This is uh, something very, very important. Those are very important fatty acids. Those are essential fatty acids. It reduces uh, the risk of heart attack, of cardiovascular disease. It is very, very good for mental health. And very important, it is uh, anti-inflammatory. Your body needs it to, to fight the inflammation. And we don't get enough of them in our Western diet. So we have to have an intake uh, like uh, like this, you can buy them uh, online or in uh, pharmacies, and that uh, helps your body uh, recover. And uh, that's uh, I don't know if it's uh, okay. Mm. Very important. Back to some serious stuff. Marvin is taking care of the paddle boards so Tara can do some water activities. We never explained how did we get here. We took an airplane. We had to go to south of France for a week and we should have missed the good season for the Biscay Bay crossing from north of France. So we asked somebody to take our boat to Portugal while we are working during several weeks and we took the airplane to come over here. So just a little explanation on what's going on actually. We are in South of France and uh, I am working as a model for GoWad application. We're making videos about mobility and flexibility. It is pretty useful in everyday life and on a boat, doing boat jobs because we find ourselves in difficult situations and uh, positions while trying to fix things. So, check it out. And uh, so this is a, a working pause in our sailing around the world lifestyle. Thanks for watching. So see you next week to discover how we totally failed to arrive to Alvor. Okay, so uh, we have a beautiful morning over here in uh, Portimao and so we decided with Marvin to uh, sail a little bit to um, a town called uh, Alvor. If you like our videos and you want to contribute so we can keep making them, 
You can do so on Patreon or on YouTube memberships. If not, well, we'll do our best to continue as long as we can. And so you were asking where are our barbels? Well, they're just here under the table.